Roland Martin's brought to you by General Motors, the all-new 2014 Chevrolet Impala. Style, technology, and heritage comes together to create a bold new icon, the 2014 Chevrolet Impala. Find new roads. Roland Martin, good morning. Tom, Sybil, and Jay, good morning. Hope you had a great weekend. Tom, I got the tweet of the month Saturday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cowboy fans, I'm sorry, but somebody sent me a tweet. They said, man, with a new AT&T deal with the Cowboy Stadium, said, now, wow, now it's going to be drop calls and drop balls at Cowboy Stadium. That's a good one. That's a good one. I, I, so the brother who sent me that tweet, <laughs> you get a T-shirt or something. <laughs> we'll send you a Tony Romo jersey. All right. A pocket yep. square something. Drop Come calls on. and yeah. drop balls. <laughs> Man, that was just a good one. That was a good one. Sorry, Super Dave, but y'all suck. All right. Um, <laughs> John, there's a this, this very interesting article on blackamericanweb.com that uh, actually, I'm sorry, a BMWK, they really got black and married with kids. Really interesting. Five reasons her husband isn't getting any. And I figured the sisters might want to let the brothers know that. So Stefan Labossier is a life and relationships coach. He joins us right now. Uh, and Stefan, um, you just go ahead and go there, and you, uh, what happened? You got some homeboys who were confused, and you need to offer them some advice. What's the deal? Yeah, I mean, pretty much I've been coaching a lot of couples, and I kept noticing the same complaint, that men were complaining about lack of sex in the marriage, and they did not know how to make it better. And all the time the women felt like, why should we have to tell them? They should know. They've been with us for so long. So there was this gap in communication, and I figured, okay, I need to close that gap. So I actually wrote a book about it, but the article is kind of an offshoot of the book. All right, so one of these is that, that, that men can't deal with women and, and all the stress that they have, and women say, I got 45 things in my mind and sex is number 46. Uh, she needs <laughs> to start to do recount. What's up with that? 46? <laughs> I mean, the reality is that we as men got to realize Sex is very t not just a uh, physical act for women. It's an emotional and mental act as well. And when we get married and she's dealing with stress, that doesn't allow her to be sexually receptive. See, we, we had it easy when we were dating them. They were able to kind of work through that, or those things didn't, uh, they didn't stress her to the same level. But once we get married, it's a whole different ball game, and we're not accustomed to understanding that we need to know how to manage her emotions if we want to get more out of her sex. Okay, I, I got to stop you right there. So Manage she could handle her emotions? I, I, hold on, I got to help you. So she could handle stress while dating, but she can't handle it right now. <laughs> it's not that she can't handle it. The thing is, when we're, when they're date, when we're dating, for, it, it can be various reasons. Some women are just not telling the man the truth. There are situations where I've had couples who um, the woman never achieved climax, and the man never knew it until they got married, and maybe five years into it he found out. All right? So some women are just not saying it because they don't want to hurt the man's ego. They don't want to push him away. So he doesn't really even know that there's something lacking there. In other cases, it's the, the whole high of finally being in a relationship, and she's enjoying that. But once we're settled and, and you know, years start to kick in, it's the rules change, more than huh? just physical. <laughs> so the, I mean, the, rule, the, so rules, the rules, change, always, rules change from dating to getting married. In a lot of cases, yes. It, it, now, he it, ain't changed, the but reality she's changed, is that right? she well, changes ahead. the rules. And maybe he's is, just not doing it right. Thank you. All right, Luda. No, that's what's all the co-signing in the background? Thank you. You got a studio audience now? Maybe he's just not doing it right. Is there a puppet back there? Some thank you. No, listen, and, and in many cases, he isn't doing it right. That's why I said in many cases, she's not telling him, though. So he doesn't know. You see, okay. he, he, she doesn't want to... Uh, basically uh, push him away by telling him he's not good enough in the bedroom right now. Or he, she might be worried about how he responds to that criticism. Right. So, okay, Stefan, you also say two minutes isn't long enough. <laughs> so are, are you telling me... <laughs> Uh, are you, are you, said, you think? You, you said women might women need fifteen minutes to reach climax. So the brother needs some jumper cables or something. What <laughs> what, what you got? I mean, listen. You know what? A lot of a lot of men make the mistake of not keeping up their cardio vascular ability, cardiovascular ability. They they go to the gym and they work out. and They think that's enough. But you got to be able to last, and and not just even their cardiovascular. It's the simple fact is some men are going into the sexual act trying to get theirs. They're just looking to get their pleasure, and in doing that, they're shortchanging the woman. Well, you keep doing that, she's not going to want to come back to have sex because she's not getting hers. It's almost like going to work and not getting paid. Who's well, going to come to work? It's but worse. Maybe, maybe she's so, maybe, <laughs> but is the problem she's so stressed, that's why, one reason why she can't get hers? Say it again. 
she's so stressed she can't get hers. So lose the stress and then. And, and, but that's the thing. You ha- that's why it's so important oh. to know your woman and get in tune with her. Because if she isn't a ne- the thing is this: a man could lay it down perfect one day and make her reach climax, and then the next week do the same exact thing and have no effect on her because mentally she's not there. Emotionally, so she's I- in a different place. Okay, and if so you're how's not that on the brother her, though? Hold on, you just said something key. He laid it down one week, all good. Next mm-hmm. week, no good. Well, what are you supposed to do? Get your side piece he two minutes to, from back at the house. <laughs> <laughs> he has to learn to get more in tune with his woman. The reality is, in, in, the, in the various married couples that I've coached, the reality is that the men aren't always very in tune with the woman. There's not a, a deep enough connection there. So he doesn't know when she's not feeling in the mood when there's something bothering her, and that throws it off. Okay, and and as Jay said, is this the reason why a man goes out and gets a side piece? Or she yeah. does. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. Yes, it does contribute to that big okay. time. Mm-hmm. All right. Two All minutes, right, you're back at the house, Sybil. <laughs> <laughs> you going to have some brothers? Yeah, no problem, side pieces. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> brother not screaming, hurry up! <laughs> All right. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, thanks a bunch. We appreciate it. Yeah. Follow him on Stefan. Uh, at Stefan Speaks on Twitter. <laughs> and don't get married in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Lord.